game? What are the changes in the franchise and why are they exciting for the new players? Well, um, what's new in the multiplayer of Assassin's Creed the, this time around is basically we're building on what we had in Brotherhood. Uh, it was our first time doing multiplayer. What we're doing with Revelation is we're basically um, taking the lessons that we had from what we did and just making it even better. So we're going to take the core modes that people really love that really worked super well and we're improving. Yeah. What is your favorite aspect of the game? Do you think? What we're doing with Revelation is we're also adding a story layer. Uh, when you were in Brotherhood, you were playing a Templar in training and we didn't really expand on the story. What we're doing this time around is that Sergo is actually going to take notice of what you're doing. And they're going to be coming in and kind of telling you, hey, nice progress, and kind of let you in on the whole uh, Sergo side of the story. So for a long time now, we've been hearing about the assassins, what they're doing. Now we'll get to know the other side of the story. get the background, so the other perspective. Exactly. So are there any new kind of like combat options or weapons? One of the important things that's changed about combat is that basically uh, the kill moves will adapt to how you play. So if you're playing in a more stealth way, the animations will be short and allow you to get out faster, so you're rewarded for that behavior. If you, if you run and gun, the animation will be more spectacular, but it'll take longer to do, so you're a bit dead on the idea is that it depends on the context. If you're, you want to get that last kill in, you can run and gun, it's fine. But you have to know there's a cost to everything. So what's your favorite way to kill an enemy in uh, the game? I know you have one. Well, uh, what we're showing here, we have one of the, the female characters has an axe. I personally really like her attack moves. You always play with her, is she a favorite character? Yeah. And you with the axe, how's your axe swing? Oh, uh, it's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. It has like a really stick out move. Oh, let's see, let's see if they go to the camera. Well, uh, the whole response to uh, Assassin's Creed has been incredible. Um, people are really looking forward to this game, so it's really cool to be working on something that people really want to know yeah. more about. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the multiplayer um, features in this game. Like, how can people um, interact with each other? Well, uh, with the previous installment, you already had a lot of, uh, of the features that allowed you to play in-game. What we're allowing now is outside of the game experience, so basically you'll be able to challenge your friends more. Uh, you'll be able to see their gamer cards to kind of figure out what type of style they have because we'll be telling you what their favorite abilities are and things like that. So you'll have a lot more strategy, uh, not only in-game, but even before you come into the game. How many Angry Birds would it take to tear down the walls of your heart? My heart? I think it has to be the right bird. It has to be the right bird! Oh, that's such a good answer! I love it! You are so cute! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the interview. Hello, I'm Bayonetta, and I like to watch GameZombie.tv.